Alright, I'm going to have to continue the tutorial on not the web, on not the screen recorder, but just this camera. So pick whatever you want. You can't really see it because it's a crappy camera, but it'll say United States, U.S., blah, blah, blah. blah. Pick what you want. Next. And then I'll want your computer username and your computer name. I'm just going to put in Tom. Er. Let's leave that Tom. Alright. So once you put in that, click next. And your password. I don't want a password. Click next. Um, product key. You want to uncheck the thing that says automatically. Yeah. That. And then just click next. And then just use recommended settings to what I always do. It already have the time set and your time I don't know how it does it, but it just does. Click next. Uh, I'm going to connect one do some my wireless. But if you have one just so but if you don't, you know, um or if you just have like a, a landline. Just yeah, yeah, do that. Anyway. Um, click next, or just click skip, and then tell which network, blah blah, home, connecting, connecting. Alright, now it's saying welcome. I just paused the camera because it was just a bunch of random stuff that is basically, if you want to do that, you can do that, you know. So as you can see, Windows 7 ultimate or whatever version you have welcome and it preparing your desktop computer this might take a while Here it is. There it goes. And yeah. Um the cool thing about dual booting Windows XP and Windows 7 is when you reboot it, it already puts in the the uh the, the boot selector. Do if you're so you don't need Vista. And I'll show you this when I turn off my computer and turn it back on. But yeah, this is Vista, I got my internet pretty simple. You might want to install some drivers, which I'm going to start doing, you know, just to get your actual uh, screen. This is way too small. But, yeah. I'll restart it and show you guys. Alright, it had just shut down and it's rebooting. See, that's not going to go. And here it is. It'll say Windows. Can't see it, but it's going to say Windows 7 or earlier version. Obvious Windows. Now you know seven, but if you hit earlier vision, er, earlier vis version of Windows, <coughs> you're gonna go back into your XP, which I want to do. To sorry, well, earlier version, and there it is. Pretty cool. All right, I'll continue it on the desktop.